Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. We got another tailgate special for you today. I have here the Luco LKEF 15 liter 12 volt camping fridge, car fridge. You can run it off AC or DC, run it off your car, plug it into the wall socket. 15 liters. Kind of see how much 15 liters is. Pretty good amount. I would say it'd be perfect for one to two people. Like I said, this is a 12 volt. Looking at some of the features it comes with a carry handle here on the side. It has some recessed handles here, but they're not too deep. So picking this thing up, if you're not careful picking it up right here, it could slip. Feels like hard ABS plastic. You can sit on it, I sat on it. It's pretty steady. All the compressor and electronics and everything down here at the bottom. So this is like a taller model instead of one of those uh, long wider models with the uh, with the compressor like on the side and the lid and stuff on the other side but uh, I'm getting it out here it's about 86 degrees out right now kind of give you an idea I've got my laser thermometer here and I also have inside a refrigerator thermometer as well so keep inside get a couple temperature readings there to make sure we're accurate outside here reading about 86 in the shade we're reading about 79 outside of the cooler reading the same inside of the cooler 71 so what I'm going to do is I've got some cold drinks and a few things that I'm gonna put inside of here and they're already cold. The drinks that I'm gonna put in here are already cold. They're in my uh, refrigerator down here in the man cave. So what I'm gonna do is put those cold drinks in there, let it sit for about five minutes and then I'm gonna plug it up and see how long it takes to get to the temp that I so desire. And to be powering this today, we're gonna to be using the Bouge RV Flash 300 also to see how long this 12 volt refrigerator will last with the Bouge RV Flash 300. Again, this is around 300 watt hours. So at its highest peak, this is around 40 watts when it kicks in, when the compressor kicks in, and it only kicks in to maintain that temperature. So at first it's gonna use quite a bit of power to get to that temperature, I do believe. And then after that, uh, to be able to maintain that temperature it'll kick on and off and we'll see that as it happens so let's get this thing hooked up get everything in there and we'll be right back real quick with the features and what it comes with you have your power input there for your ac or dc power and it comes with your ac and dc cables and your uh, cigarette lighter plug here your 12 volt it's about 11 foot, 11 foot cable, so that's pretty good. And right here on the side, there's a little compartment that opens up. And I guess you could probably fit your 12 volt cable in there if you wanted to. Somewhere right here, I can't see, it's a little bit dark, but it does say battery somewhere right there, but I don't see anywhere that it would connect. I don't see any um, connection points where a battery would fit in there. Maybe it's uh, for like a different model maybe that a battery would fit in there but yeah like i said it has the handle here and it has some recessed handles right here on the both sides like i said it doesn't go in too deep so it's kind of hard to get a good grip on there but it's not super super heavy coming to the front you've got your lid here two little plastic teeth that holds it down holds it shut 
like it looks like a regular, just regular cooler lid, nothing special. Here is your controls down here at the front. You have your power button, and you also have your settings button, which will put it in max mode or eco mode. And of course, max mode will get you to your desired temperature faster. Eco mode will uh, save a little bit of power, and then you have your up and down and lock features right there. I'm not sure what the lock feature does, but we'll find out. It's supposed to be some kind of child lock or something. Maybe it does something here. No, I don't see any electronics or anything, unless there's something in the lid that keeps it from opening, possibly. I did read that there was some kind of child lock, but you see the vents and the compressors right in there. Some more venting and around back. It's kind of hard to see, see if I can get you in there yet. Just some more venting. Not 100% sure what the weight is, but I'll double check and look, and we'll put those specs in here in just a little bit and let you see what the weight and measurements are and whatnot. Just a quick note as I'm reviewing this, there must be some different models. There's the, uh, this one doesn't say Luco on there, but on the box that it came with, it says Luco LKEF 15. And here on in the instruction book is there's an e, uh, EF 12 and the EF 15. So I guess there's a few different models. It's hard to find anything online about these because this is a, either a new product or something just being introduced. So it looks like I've got this product just about before anybody has done any reviews on it or anything. But right here it says power port, which is this right here. Right below the power port, it says solar port. There is no solar port on mine. And then it says battery box. So I'm taking it. There's a certain model that will have a solar port here. You can plug some solar panels into this and it will charge a battery that goes in here. But as of right now, I would just be using this for a storage compartment for the 12 volt power cable. Okay, I just wanted to get a quick reading inside my man cave refrigerator. Let's get some readings inside here because my, my drinks are just perfect. I got it set, it looks like, on about, uh, around about four. So, you know, it's, it's not low, low. So let's get right in here. We've got 32, 47, 46, right around the freezer area, 41 there at the bottom. On the freezer, it's 25. Down here, 43, 41. So somewhere in between 35 and 45. Yeah. Okay. All right, so it's been about five minutes. I've put some drinks in here to let the temperature kind of acclimate. Yep, you can feel it. And I've got my refrigerator temperature gauge in here and it's showing about uh, 60 in there. So, what all I've got in there, I've got some, some drinks, some water. Those are actually room temperature for them. Everything else was cold. Some adult beverages, some juice. And I got my favorite, sparkling water right here. This stuff is so good. If you guys never tried this, you gotta try it in the bottle. Carbonated spring water. Oh my gosh, it is so good. It hits the spot. All right, let's close this up. Oh, let's get a reading here with my gun real quick inside. 61. So the refrigerator temp is pretty, pretty accurate. Let me hit the wall right there. 67 right there at the gauge 63 so we're pretty close let's get this thing plugged in and i think we'll probably set it around maybe 35 we'll start with 35 sounds like a good temperature to do i've got it plugged into the bouge rv let's get this thing cranked up and you can see we're 100 percent let's get the dc on we have it on now let's cut this on over here power button and nothing what is up with that hmm okay let me uh, unplug this and plug it back in and see what we got going on here this don't seem to be working and if you remember in the last clip, I was hitting the power button. 
nothing cut on. And I was like, oh man, I got a dud. And I was getting kind of flustered and frustrated and I was looking through the manual. And one of the things it said was check the fuse. And I'm like, there's no nowhere to check a fuse. And I was wondering if I got a demo model because right here in the side compartment where it says battery in the manual, there's no terminals or anything for a battery to fit in here. And then right here where it says power and underneath there was a solar adapter. I pulled off the little sticker around the, the power uh, thing here, port underneath this power port for solar, but there's no, there's no connection there. It's just like a hole. So I was wondering if I got a demo model and I noticed in the manual it said, you know, I was running through the process. If it's not working, it says check fuse. And I'm looking around for where the crap the fuse is, but if you turn it over, there's like six screws on the bottom turn it upside down there's six screws on the bottom and this piece right here just comes straight off of the cooler part but there is a couple wires to be careful with but it comes off enough where you can check all the wiring and there was a negative terminal all your wires are right in here somewhere i think it's over here all your wires are connected and there was a negative wire totally not connected to anything and the wife was helping me look around on it she said oh it says negative right so we just plug the negative back into that slot and now it works like a charm. Thought I had a dud, but it's working. All right, we're only using 27 watts of power right now, which is kind of unbelievable. I thought I was gonna be using like 40. So at 27 watts, this thing's gonna last a long time. And when it gets down to temp, it'll hardly be using anything. And if you can hear, it's not that loud at all. I thought it was going to be a whole lot louder. It's quieter than my uh, man cave refrigerator. But anyway, I've got it set to 35. It's going down. It started at 70 degrees. Let's see how long it takes to get down to 35 degrees. Let's see. It's been on for about five minutes. It's now about 610, so 610 p.m. We'll see how efficient it is. And I've also, I've got it on max cool right now, just to get it down to temp. And then I'll put it on eco mode in the settings here. Yeah, I was getting kind of flustered thinking I got a dud. Thought I was gonna have to send it back. Barely using any power at the moment. I'm gonna open it up and see if it feels like it's getting cool. Oh yeah. You can feel the sidewalls feel really cool so shouldn't take too long at all of course we're out here it's, it's warm it's probably about 80 85 degrees right now give or take all right it's been about 30 minutes give or take 25 30 minutes and you can see we've used we've only used seven percent of the battery it's still at 28 watts it's still going we're at 43 degrees fahrenheit it's been about 30 minutes and once it gets down to temp, we can put it on eco mode. It's getting darker out. You can hear that sound is not that, not that loud at all. Let's look in here and see if we can see the uh, thermometer that I placed in here. Oh yeah, it's really cold in here, guys. That's cold, it's showing like 20, 25 degrees. Twenty twenty seven degrees? I can't see on this camera. It's showing cold. And I do believe, while we're close to the temp, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it in eco mode now just to save energy, being that we're pretty close. Look and see. Now it's showing we're using 30 watts. So let's get it down to uh, Gotta figure out how to cut the lock off here. Let's see if you push these two. There we go. Uh, all right, cut the lock off there. Get you zoomed in. If I can do this here, settings. Eco mode, okay. Now we got an eco mode.
I don't know if you heard that sound change, but it sounds like it kind of geared down a notch there. So now that it's in eco mode, let's go over here to the Bouge RV and see what kind of wattage it is using. It's saying 24 watts, so it did go down a little bit. 8% of the battery we've used so far. And you can see with the Bouge RV Flash 300 at the current wattage usage, we've got eight hours, 8.4. That's going down a little bit. There, oh, it's going up rather. As the wattage goes down, you can hear it gearing down there. That's pretty cool. Forty-one degrees Fahrenheit, and I guess it'll go down slowly until it gets to the thirty-five that we've got it set at. Let's see if it even show. Oh, it won't show. Okay. You have to press these two buttons to lock and unlock the LCD. Another thing I was noticing in the manual, it shows that it has a Bluetooth function. So I'm going to look on my phone here in just a minute and see if. If it actually does have a Bluetooth, if it does, this is going to be an awesome little setup. All right, everyone, this video is probably getting a little too long, so I might make it a two-parter. So if you want to see the results with the Luco 15 liter here. Look for part two a little later. We're getting close to temp now. We're at 39 degrees Fahrenheit. And just a quick note, I thought I was gonna have to uh, change from Celsius to Fahrenheit, but when I powered it on, it was already on the Fahrenheit setting, so that was cool. So that's gonna do it for this one. Stick around for part two, guys. Thanks for coming over. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And as always, plan, prepare, and practice. Handy out.